Hello everyone, this is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for Cancer for April 6th through the 12th. Thank you for joining me today, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join me each and every day for my quick glance daily readings. Now just a reminder, these are general readings. Take what resonates and disregard the rest. And all the card information is listed below, so let's get started. We first have the Eight of Pentacles. Followed by the Five of Cups. And the Major Arcana card, the Sun. And your overall energy for the reading is the Three of Cups. Okay, Cancer. First, let me pull this in. There's a lot of detail on these cards. Okay. Okay, that should be good. Okay, so the... The first thing that's coming through is that some of you have been finding ways to keep yourself busy. And I do feel some of you need to eliminate the negative mindset that I'm picking up. And just a reminder that the law of attraction is always working. So keep that in mind. But your reading is indicating good luck and good fortune. Happiness and balance coming your way, Cancer. Now, let's take a closer look at your cards. Now, first here, you have the Eight of Pentacles. This is known as the work card. And some of you who are continuing to work out in the field have been working diligently away, perfecting your skill, making sure that everything you do, you give full attention to detail. You pay close attention to the quality of the work that you do. Now, for some Cancers who are just starting out on their career, this card showing up can be a possible apprenticeship with a company you wanted to hook up with. And you will be learning everything from the ground up. And I feel you're very eager to get started. Now, for others, the... Eight of Pentacles showing up can actually be you starting up your own business, working for yourself and building a future with what you feel passionate about and enjoy doing on a daily basis. So this card indicates you are heavily involved in the details and quality that are involved in your business. This card has an energy of a very focused type of work. It can include activities that are being done together. Everyone is focused on the task at hand. An example of this could be a 500 piece puzzle, maybe. And everyone is working diligently to finish the picture. And at that time, mastery will have been achieved. It is a very focused energy till the very end to get the job done. And the number eight energy of this card is abundance. So this certainly can be in regards to the abundance of tasks and work that are being performed at this time. And as we look at the cards here, and I don't know if it can get much closer, maybe. We see the dryads hidden in the branch of the tree, closely watching the intricate detail of the spider working tirelessly to create the beautiful spun web. With great patience, she weaves her web through the night, and each thread is placed with care to create a pattern that is beautiful, but also built for purpose. This card is an indication that you will stay with the task at hand until the end. Now, the next card you have, Cancer, is the Five of Cups here. 
This is the energy that I was picking up as I laid your cards out. It's one of disappointment and regret. This is an understandable emotion at this time, but with this card showing up also comes change, and with change comes opportunity. So Cancer, it is advisable to try to shake off this negative energy. You do have change on the horizon. The number five energy of this card is an energy of possible complications, challenges. It is an energy that likes to shake things up. And for some of us, passing through the fire to be made stronger. Now, as we look at the card here, we see the young woman carrying her bowl tightly. She is afraid it will slip from her numb fingers and shatter on the rocky shore. Now, what she mistakes as the wind brushing her shoulder is actually instead the sprites whispering comfort in her ears, but she hardly notices as she is so intent on her loss. So there is a danger, Cancer, with this type of energy that you will become engulfed and be trapped in this negative type of mindset. Now look at the two upright bowls, which represents the two cups. Do not concentrate on the three cups that are overturned. There is hope and messages trying to come through to you. The cup's energy is one of emotions and feelings, and at this time, you need to turn around your thoughts to manifest a more positive energy to surround you for the future. Now, your next card, Cancer, is the glorious Major Arcana card, the Sun. Such a beautiful card and energy for your reading here today. Now, when the major arcana cards turn up in a reading, it indicates a significant change in your life. And this is such a positive card coming your way, Cancer. This card is indicating happiness and joy, success and fulfillment. This is known as the card of light. And as we look at the card here, we see the glorious yellow sun warming everything in its path. When this card shows up, it is the time to reveal everything. And you will benefit by sharing your true feelings and thoughts. And you will have greater clarity and understanding for the future. Now, this can also indicate a time to celebrate your accomplishments and share them with the world. Do not be afraid to shine, Cancer. This is your moment. Do what makes you feel excited inside. This card represents a burst of energy and vitality returning to your life. Now, for the Cancers that had a question in mind at the beginning of this reading, this card is an outcome card of yes. And the number 19 energy of the Sun card reduces down to number 10, which is indicating an ending, possibly in regards to the recent emotions, to your recent emotions and feelings that you were experiencing here, Cancer. And if we further reduce number 10 down to number one, this is new beginnings for you, Cancer. This is indicating a new start or a new opportunity. The sun is enlightenment and understanding. It reminds us of the constant renewal of life, vitality, joy and energy, and good health. Bask in its golden light and energy, Cancer. Now, the three card spread here adds up to number 32, which reduces down to number five. And as I explained with your five of energy or your five of cups energy card, the number five energy is one of challenges and struggles. It interrupts your equilibrium and balance, shakes things up, 
but only for a moment as you regain your balance and continue down your path. Now, the next card I'd like to talk to you about cancer is your overall energy card for the entire reading. And let me just move this down and bring these two in. And so you received the Three of Cups. Beautiful. Now, the Three of Cups is a card of celebration and joy. This is an indication that no matter what, you're going to take time out and find something fun and enjoyable to do this week. This card is an indication that you have friends and family who truly care about and support you, Cancer. This card, as your overall energy for the entire reading, is indicating that you deserve to have some fun. And the Three of Cups card is actually your card, Cancer. So what better way to use the intense energy of your card and such a positive card at that to get you through the entire week? The message here is to find a way to create some joy and happiness and fun, no matter what's going on around you or whatever you come across this week. And the number three energy of this card is two things coming together to create something more. It's the number of the Trinity, of the body, mind, and spirit, and indicates creative success and positive energy for you, Cancer. Now let's take a look at which crystal your angels and guides have chosen for you this week, Cancer. Jade. This does tie in with your overall energy card of the Three of Cups. This is good luck, Cancer, and is associated with the heart chakra. Jade is a crystal which attracts good luck and friendships. And that's what your energy, your overall energy this week is all about. And I do have a polished jade here. So your angels and guides are telling you to keep your eye out for a lucky encounter, good news, a financial blessing, or perhaps a new friendship coming in. And be thankful for whatever form the good luck is. And since Jade is linked to the heart chakra and also a bit associated with attracting love and money into your life, you need to focus on remaining positive and visualizing yourself achieving financial success. And at this time, acknowledge the wealth you already have and trust that you are making steady progress to greater abundance. At this time, it's always good to meditate, refresh yourself with clean, clear energy. And as you do this, you will feel your heart opening up and expanding which will enable you to give and receive even more love and happiness. Some big changes are coming your way, Cancer. Do not fear them, for they are very positive changes. Thank you for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And to continue with a private reading for yourself, just click on my website link below. Love, health, and abundance to my cancer family.